Hello, hello, this is Chucky from Collecting for Fun and we have a very, very fun review today. Uh, this is part of the Lego Creator sets. This is a three-in-one set uh, where you can build three different, uh, uh, in this case, three different animals. Uh, this is the Wild Safari Animal set. Uh, it is number 31150 and it comes with 780 pieces. It, uh, it sells in the U.S. at regular price for about $65 U.S. and Canadian $85. I was able to buy this on sale recently through Amazon, so check that out. If uh, it Usually, uh, maybe you can still get it on sale. And uh, yeah, this is a really fun set, especially if you love animals, and I do love animals. Um, in this set, I, I particularly want to build the giraffe. Uh, to me, uh, I love looking at giraffes. I just think they're really, you know, beautiful animals. And so this is the majestic giraffes. Here we are. So you can see, uh, and it does come with three different builds. The other two builds are the lion and the gazelle, and the, and we'll go over briefly those sets as well. But we'll do the uh, giraffe first. Uh, let's. Uh, Look at the periphery. The with when you build the giraffe set, there is a giant tree here that, uh, and obviously this is a very tall tree. Uh, giraffes only eat plants, as uh, you may or may not know, and so they have these super super long necks, and they eat the fruit off the trees there, and that is their primary diet is eating the plants off the trees. Um, and uh, this set also comes with a flamingo interesting fact about flamingos is they actually do not are not born uh, pink in color they only get I think they're born white in color and uh, they only get the pink color after eating uh, their primary food which is shrimp and so they take on the color of pink after eating all the shrimp they eat um, anyways this is a yeah, I like this flamingo it looks pretty cool I mean, not I mean, not very poseable. You can move the tail up or down if you wish. Uh, the wings do not move; they're like stapled or like bricked in, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like the uh, the how the use of the uh, Lego brick elements they have. You know, black beak eyes are nice there. So, uh, and you can see the, the, how, what they did with the with the legs there, kind of that uh, almost like a storkish type uh, leg thing going on. And uh, as you know, flamingos generally stay mostly in the water and because they just eat shrimp pretty much all day <laughs> um, so there's that and then so let's go to the main event here the giraffe so the giraffe here um, I think they really did a good job I mean I've actually was in Africa recently so we got to see the giraffe up close in the safaris and actually went to a center where we got to feed the giraffes and so when I saw this set, I said, well, uh, I, need to, I need this set. And um, this, uh, you can see they did a good job with uh, the shape, the head shape of the giraffe in general. Let's see if we can zoom in. Maybe that'd be easier. There we go. Let's zoom in on the giraffe there. And we can see that um, the, with the head, uh, I like the head shape. You can see they... You know, built in a super long neck, a lot of uh, reinforcement on that so the head doesn't get tilted. The uh, neck does move up and down, and the head uh, can swivel. Let me zoom out again so we can see the head swivel. So the head can swivel, so you can pull. This has some fair bit of posability, um, so you can, you know, play around with that. Um, the tail is also quite posable. So they did a really good job being able to um, pose the giraffe in different poses. The legs actually are quite um, posable. I mean, you can move the legs. I mean, you can have this spread out like that. You can have uh, um, the back legs move out fairly wide as well and split up like that. So you can have the legs go out all pretty far out, you know. Uh, so the giraffe can almost fall down there. So if, you're, if you want to kind of put the giraffe in kind of weird poses, you absolutely can. Um, we'll put them in a more stable pose for standing. Even the, uh, the hooves, um, they, are, um, they have a ball joint going on there. So they are as well posable. You can move these up and down a bit. So I love the posability of these. I am, do they 
I do, yes. So it's pretty, the legs themselves are stiff legged um, so that you cannot bend. There's no knee joints to bend. And I don't know why you would. I don't, you know, the, the, um, it would just probably add too much complexity to the build if we did that. Um, you can see, you know, they have these black studs for the eyes, you know. Uh, the mouth does not open or close, so there's no movement in that. And I'm not sure if it's necessary to do that anyways. Um, as I said, generally speaking, this is a really nice build. If, you, if you're a fan of African animals and you like giraffes, and I, I do love giraffes. I mean, I just think they're very peaceful. They are the tallest mammals on the planet. And, you know, I just think they're just very gentle, docile uh, creatures. Um, you know, they, you know, they just very majestic looking, especially if you see them in the wild, even if you see them in the zoo, I mean, they're very docile. They just, you know, they, they have one <laughs> purpose is survival. They just eat and, you know, there's not too many animals that will mess with them. Some will, you know, pack of animals might, but they're so big. Um, you know, it's, uh, y y the calves are obviously always more um, uh, susceptible and the older giraffes are more susceptible to being prey for the, for the big lions or other uh, predators. But I, you know, um, but uh, yeah, very majestic animal. Uh, and this build does the, does the giraffe very, very much justice. So we're gonna go briefly over, so I, I, um, to sum it up, this is a very nice build. If you love animals, and I am one of those animal lovers that uh, you know just love looking at giraffes, this is a nice build. So uh, let's briefly go over the other two builds. So on the set, you can see on the bottom, there are um, two gazelles. Um, there is, um, I'm a, I'm going to just say it's probably the mother gazelle and then the calf. And uh, fortunately, Lego does uh, provide the instruction manuals for all three builds. Uh, some sets, uh, like I think the Technic set, sometimes they'll, the alternate build you can only find online, but this one includes all three builds. So you can go ahead and build whatever uh, set you want. And if we look at this set, I mean, it comes with the shrubbery there, which uh, if we look back on the tree there that's where that would uh, most of the pieces will come from i think that if i'm not mistaken the draft does maximize the use of most of the bricks that come with the set i am not sure about how much it maximizes the other uh animals when we when they when they're built um because i i really had no intention of building it i only bought it to buy for the giraffe um, but the gazelles look actually quite nice um uh, if you look at the 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 the, the fawn and the uh, the gazelle and its its young and um, I think they did a really good job with that build as well. Um, it looks like again the ball joints will allow the legs to move on both of them. Um, Poseability neck looks pretty good here. I'm not sure if that one poses or not. Um, I don't see much of a tail on these things, but I could be wrong. Maybe there is a tail. No, it doesn't look like there's much of a tail. Let's open the book and see. I haven't actually looked inside, and a very small tail, so it does have a tail. Okay, but yeah, it looks, uh, I mean, I didn't find the draft too complicated of a build, so I don't expect the other ones to be too complicated either. The other one on this set is the lion, and the lion, um, we can zoom in on that, let's just zoom in on that. And you can see the lion looks pretty decent, uh, and it's got it comes with a pink, uh, pinkish butterfly, and there are a lot of butterflies in Africa, um, and uh, so the lion's not too bad. I, I mean, I looked at the lion. I was contemplating whether I want to build it or not. Um, I, I don't know. Although I think they did a decent job with the lion. I don't know if they got the face quite right, and I think it would be very difficult to get the face quite right with a lion. So this, on this set here, you can see the instructions for the lion as well. It's got a very poseable tail. The arm, uh, legs are quite poseable. It doesn't have a, you cannot bend the, the, there's no knee joints for the legs either here, but you can move the ankle areas and the, the actual leg joints. It looks like the head should be poseable. You can move the swivel the head around. 
I do not, it does not look like the mouth opens at all either. Um, but I just, uh, when I looked at the lion, I just don't know if the lion is uh, as nice of a build as the, the giraffe. Um, and that's my opinion. I just, um, when I look at the face, let's look at the face again. Um, I mean, it's decent, but I don't know. The face doesn't do it for me. Uh, I mean, you can tell it's definitely a lion. It's just, I don't know. I think for Lego to make a really cool lion face would be a little tricky. Um, and I think with the giraffe face, it's more simple. So they were able to get away with what they could get away with there. And, uh, but yeah, that's my opinion. If you love lions, which I also love lions, um, then by all means, build the lion. Um, I'm hoping they actually do build um, another. I like I like the animal Lego sets that they've done. I, I've just seen uh, in the past I reviewed the tiger set they did, which was amazing. Um, so uh, maybe in the future they'll do an actual lion set, maybe a pride of lions with the male, female. Because uh, usually the male f uh, lion will have a, a pride of a few lionesses and or, or cubs. So maybe they'll build, build a set of that in the future because obviously they have the they, they have the foundation to make the lion. Uh, I think they can just make the face shape just a hair bit better. I mean, I think that'd be a killer set. Um, but yeah, so that is my review of this uh, wild safari animal set. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so for the animal lovers out there, if you can find this on sale, I think it's a good set to get. Um, full price, the brick piece per cost. Uh, it's, pushing it a little bit but if you can find it on sale um, I think uh, it's a really it's a really nice set to have especially if you love animals so this is Chucky from collecting for fun as always I appreciate you coming to take a look at the video hope you enjoyed it and if you see any other creator sets that you uh, want to see reviewed just let us know in the comment section and we can see if we can pick up that set to review and until next time please hit that like and subscribe button Always much appreciated, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys.